What's up, Blockheads? Today we're going to be doing a review on a new helmet, the Senna Momentum INC. All right, so this episode is brought to you guys by Senna. If you guys haven't heard of them, be sure to go check them out. They specialize in uh, motorcycle communications, Bluetooth systems. You can connect up to eight riders with some of their stuff, listen to your music, do voice commands to your phone, listen to the radio, all sorts of stuff. Senna basically, on any other motorcycle helmet, clips onto the side, which you guys can see a picture of like here on my helmet, and uh, you basically run the speakers to the inside as well as the mic to the inside and you're able to communicate with other riders it's how uh, miss blockhead and i do the dual vlogs she has a Senna, i have a Senna. we connect those up she has a gopro mine records to my gopro hers records to her gopro it's a pretty cool little setup and it makes for a uh, good audio but you can pretty much hear each other the entire time if you guys are riding in groups awesome awesome communication systems by this company if you guys haven't heard of them be sure to go check them out Senna.com. I'll provide the links and all information in the description down below. So not too long ago, I reached out to Senna about the Bluetooth communicators, uh, one for Miss Blockhead, and uh, we got in touch and they sent some out. We did a featured episode on installing those, and then they were coming out with this, uh, this has been in the works for a little bit, uh, their Momentum line of helmets. So basically what you would connect to another helmet is actually all integrated within this helmet. They basically build it all into it already. So they sent me one out to do a review and uh, I haven't unboxed it or anything yet. So everything you guys are seeing is me seeing it for the first time. It is pin lock capable. So that is pretty awesome. I, I'm a big fan of pin lock basically keeps your lens from uh, fogging up. So this is, this is the box that it comes in just to give you guys an overview. Momentum smart motorcycle helmet. And so the one that uh, they sent me is the Momentum INC, which uh, is intelligent noise control. And I will uh, talk to you guys about more stats and everything here in just a moment uh, going over the helmet. But I wanted to do an unboxing just so you guys could kind of see what it looks like, um, how it's all packaged up. You know, people, people love unboxing videos, right? Comes with the pin lock fog resistant lens. That's awesome. And the helmet in the bag. All right, so it does come in a helmet bag. Bust out this little helmet donut thing so that I can set it in it. All right, so even inside the helmet bag, it is nicely wrapped up. It was awesome. Good packaging. All right, there she is. Or he? Or how much boys or girls? <laughs>
anti-scratch visor, fully removable and washable liner, visor care and cleaning instructions, and you've got your integrated right here on the left side, on the right side, controls as well as uh, where you would plug the, the helmet in. All right, so let's have a look over this thing. Up top, you do have a vent here. So that'll be super easy to control and reach with your gloves. You do have a front vent as well right here. Also easy to use with gloves. Traditionally, whenever you set up a Senna, it is on the left side and it does stick out a little bit. I love the fact, obviously it's still on the left side. That's your, uh, your clutch side. So you can still have hand on throttle and be using your left hand to reach up and control the controls here. Backside, you do have your external vents or your, what do they call them? The exhaust vents, exit vents, right side, more controls. Visor locks into place there. Seems to have like kind of a city mode right there. Just slightly cracked, but not all the way closed. Has another kind of spot where it catches there. There as well. And then up, all the way up. Here you do have uh, one of these guards that goes over. You do have a chin curtain as well. Go ahead and take out the instructions. This is what comes with it. Seems we've got some uh, different ear pads or something. So let's go ahead and open this up. So you've got your charging cable, your Momentum INC uh, owner's manual, or like a quick book, quick clip book. And then here we, looks like we have some different ear pads and it's a case of some sort. Oh, no way. This is like a little helmet. <laughs> this is like a little helmet donut thing, kind of like this, but Senna's version, you can inflate it. I'm gonna inflate that real quick. Man, harder to inflate than I thought. What the hell? You gotta like bite onto it weird. Check that out. How cool is that? So instead of having like the rigid one, you got like a really soft, nice one. That is really cool. I like that a lot. I know I'm excited about that. I'm probably more excited than I should be about that. The thing with this one, whenever you've got it here, it kind of moves and stuff, right? So this one, since it's cushy, it doesn't have that movement. You can pretty much set it at any angle and you're good. Oh, that's awesome. Good job, Senna. Guess we can put this one away. So we can see how easy it is to remove the visor. I'm gonna leave that film while I remove the visor. So let's open this up. Exposes this, uh, this latch right here. There's a little arrow on it saying to push forward. Same on the other side, yep. All right, so that's how easy it is to take off the visor. A very quick disconnect, just press forward there. Those pieces look like they're made out of what? Carbon fiber, yeah? So, help to save on weight. All right, let's go ahead and start uh, taking the internals out of this thing and see how easy it comes apart. So you have your traditional D-rings here, right? We'll snap. The liner doesn't seem to be as easy to remove as most helmets, so I'm gonna bust out the instructions and read them real quick, so I don't mess anything up. All right, so I looked through the manual that they give you here, but uh, this is more just like a quick start guide, getting started talking about the, the product, um, how to use the stuff, buttons, basic operations, stuff like that. So we'll be going over that uh, a little more in depth in a later episode. This is just gonna be unboxing and initial first impressions. So I got the chin, chin guard off. <laughs> If you guys notice in here, the uh, where the microphone placement is, it's pretty, pretty awesome. So it's not directly in the center; it's just off to the left side, right there. Which is funny because that's where I put my Moto Vlog mic. I tuck it into the uh, into the cheek pad usually. To be totally honest, I can't figure out how to get these uh, the padding out, but uh, I'll look further into it. it. Does have the little clips that uh, go on there, and this does give you access to being able to replace those ear pads. Oh, I tried it on just now. Um, traditionally, I'm a, an extra large, so uh, just to give you guys, I guess like a, a baseline. With my Bell helmet, it's a Bell Qualifier DLX. Um, I was an extra large and it fits. 
Um, a little, it's probably a little loose after it's been broken in. I have a Shoei RF1200, and that's an extra large as well, and that one fits really well. Now this is an extra large, and um, putting it on for the first time, I do feel that it is a little tight, but that's just kind of like in the ears. Obviously the uh, front chin piece doesn't go as far forward, so it feels a little closer to the face. Um, and then my ears do feel a little squished, but that's why they send you these. Uh, which are replacement ear pads for those pieces in there. So right there. So I'll probably go ahead and do that real quick. Swap those out. So those are the speakers that they install in the helmet. Those are uh, pretty good size. Imagine you're able to hear very well with those. That's cool. So these are the, uh, the ones that it comes with. As you guys can see, they're pretty thick. These are the replacement ones they send you. There's a pretty good difference there. So since my ears felt a little pushed in with these, I'm gonna go ahead and replace it with these. Seriously, easiest replacement ever. It just pops right on, it's awesome. You guys notice the way that the uh, front piece here along the brow clips in it does have these little snap tabs it doesn't have buttons now some people whenever you have buttons on the inside of the helmet like the buttons over in here it creates pressure kind of like on the forehead around the temple area so this basically does away with that creating pressure so that's that's awesome good attention to detail there not sure how well you guys can see this but along the back sides here there is velcro that sticks on underneath Helps keep the padding in place. Now the neck roll feels very nice. And this feels like leather here, here as well. The padding on the inside also feels very nice. I'm sure it's uh, like moisture wicking. Quality of it, top notch, man. It's like, it feels really super nice. Let's see how easy it is to get the visor back on it. All right, it's relatively easy. I mean, you don't have to have tools, so that's nice. You do have to line up that little front piece first though, and then push in the back. So we got Reese here that he's gonna try it on real quick. <laughs> Throw it on, brother. Actually not that bad. How's it feel? Good. I actually like the way how it hugs your face and everything. Yeah, like this, it's very close. If you look that way real quick. Yeah, like, it is a really hug in there, man. It's like you don't have a lot of room between mouth and... You wear an XL usually, right? Yep. Yeah, so you can, you can feel it bunched up around the cheeks, but that's gonna break in. Pretty, very uh, quiet, too. Very quiet, very quiet, yeah. We'll get to that in the review of it, though. So there's gonna be a review video of it. But that's the unboxing and initial first impressions. What are your first impressions putting it on? I like it, I like it. Yeah, awesome, Let's see the back I really like there. it. And then reach for the controls and stuff. Doesn't that feel like super just very natural? Yeah, it's like when you're on the bike, you just, yeah, you can go right to it instead of way down here. Yeah. All right, so Reese does wear glasses as well, so he's gonna try it on real quick and uh, try to throw on his glasses to see if they fit. I don't think they do. Holy oh, crap. Oh, wow, they do. Yeah. No resistance at all. Heck yeah. Nice. Very cool. There you go. Thanks for modeling, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the fun part. <laughs> I like it. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, this is just a first look slash unboxing video. We're not getting into the actual review of it. I am going to be putting this helmet through its paces, wearing it uh, around town because I wanna give you guys an honest review. But like I said, this is just the first look. Keep an eye out for the incoming video for uh, the actual review of it. If you guys did enjoy the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you guys aren't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon so it sends you notifications of future uploads and all that. Check out Senna if you're looking for any Bluetooth communication systems totally changes the riding experience. Big thanks once again to Senna. Y'all be sure to go check them out at Senna.com.